there we go. Stance is set. Yep. Digging it. My brother came over to give me a hand. Got the uh, got the uh, bed on. He helped me do it so we didn't scratch it up. Scratch up the. Let me get my shadow out of here. I'm gonna stand here and hey, that'll be better. There we go. Nice and shiny. A couple little runs here and there, but uh, nothing I'm really worried about. But I ran out of paint before I could paint my arms, my uh, four link arms. So that'll be another day. Uh, what's up, kiddo? No, not right now, okay? Later, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Get all that stuff done first, then we'll talk about it. Okay. All right. Kids are doing chores. But uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> They're separating all of our recyclables, cans, bottles, all that stuff for uh, our trip next weekend. I told them if they did it all, re recycle it, they could have it for uh, spending money. So, eh, that works. But the frame's sitting, sitting a little crooked right now. But I think what it is, is I have some really heavy stuff in the cab on this side only. And it's just compressing the front suspension a little bit, I think is what it is. It's not much, but it just looks a little, a little wonky right now between that and the the you can see I got a yeah there we go two by four that's holding it up but uh, anyway I'm gonna get back to work I think I'm gonna put my airbags in there and uh, see where they end up as far as uh, um, how far I actually have about another inch and a half of clearance with the tires so I'm gonna do that and figure out where that's at um, I mean, this right here, I don't know, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. This is the look I was going for in it, uh, and it worked out. So, maybe one more look, and then I'm going to get back to work. Yeah. Well, like, if people have asked uh, what color this is, it's, uh, it's actually red. It's just faded. It's probably painted, oh, I don't know, probably 30 years ago at this point in time. So that patina will stay for at least another year or so, if not a little more. What I plan on doing is over the next uh, year or so, just kind of working on the body work and stuff like that till I get it done, but driving it at the same time. So then once all that's done, we'll, uh, we'll paint it. So yeah, anyway. I'm gonna go admire it some more and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna get to work. So I'll bring you guys back when I got more. See you in a bit. Alright guys, so I'm making my mount for my airbag tank. It's gonna mount to the frame. Just thought I'd show you guys how I'm doing it. What I got here is I got some one-inch tubing, square tubing. What I did was I found the 32 inches long, so I found the 16 inch mark, made myself a line. Then I centered this on it, so then I have where this is going to be. Then what I did, if you see these silver lines, I took my silver marker and I marked along each one of these. That told me where those bars are going to sit, it's kind of far, hard to find where these holes are going to be. So I did that. Then what I did is, these are an inch and a half across from each other so I went three quarters of an inch which is half and then I went a half inch in there's my center point that's where my bolt hole is gonna go did that on both of these I haven't punched I haven't punched this one yet to get my spot so this one's almost done gonna do that one I'll get the drill press out and drill my holes I don't know if I have any bolts long enough for this I may have to pick those up to go through this one inch bar but uh, I'm gonna do that then we'll get this bolted to here We'll get it in the truck and figure out where it uh, exactly where it's going to end up sitting. So anyway, when you get back to this, I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. All right, guys, after a little lunch break and stuff, here's what we came up with. We got the uh, 
the um, air tank mounted on some one by one stock, eighth inch wall. I think it's eighth inch, might be 316s, so I can't remember right now. And then I also have this mounted on the same thing. They're just, you see the clamps here, it's just clamped on right now because I got to get underneath it to drill a hole. First I got to locate it dead in the middle, then locate this dead in the middle, and then we'll uh, drill some holes over here, over there, and uh, mount that sucker to it. Um, I did not want to weld these braces in because this is something that may move eventually, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with it that way, so, which is fine. We'll drill some holes, we'll bolt it through, we'll put a couple cross braces in there, it'll be in good shape. So yeah, this is going to work for this. So uh, this will be done. I'm going to finish it up probably, I guess I'll finish it up right now. And then uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, here if I showed what after I got the airbags on. She's pretty darn low. I don't know if I can get my toe under it. Barely. I think that's just because the uh, the uh, floorboards aren't mounted. So I may throw some bolts in those just to hold them in place. I got those bolts. If I can hold those in place, that way I quit tripping over them because those are kind of a pain in the butt. But it's nice putting body panels on instead of taking them off and moving them around because I'm sick of carrying them around. But uh, anyway, I think I might do that right now. I'm going to finish up that compressor stuff and then. Uh, when I get time, I don't know, maybe tonight I may be able to run my airlines and uh, get those going. So I'll bring you guys back as soon as I got something. See it? All right, there we go. Compressor is mounted, holes are drilled and everything. It's secure. I could stand on this thing, it wouldn't go anywhere. So uh, next up, let's put the holes in for this uh, airbag, or the tank. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to run these lines yet. This is just mocked up of course and then my wires will go through this hole and on up so they'll be uh, nice and clean so anyway I'm gonna get this dude mounted drill those holes and uh, move on drilling holes in the frame is a blast especially when you're laying underneath the frame to do it but anyway gonna get that done I'll bring you guys back when I'm done with that Then you do the ends also, okay? All right, there we go. Got all the holes drilled. Sight's just a touch off. I may have to go up like a 30 second on the hole underneath here. And uh, so I got just a touch of adjustment. But uh, this thing doesn't weigh anything, so it's not gonna really, you know, be a big weight. But uh, anyway, so we got the compressor bracket made. We got the uh, air tank bracket made. I do believe those are my last brackets. I'm not a, except on the frame, I gotta build my shock brackets. Those are next. That steel's in my truck right there, waiting to go. So that'll be next. I don't know when I'll get to that. It'll probably be a while, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, you know, about 10 hours in today, but I got a lot done. So fortunately I had a helper. She built, uh, some kind of obstacle course <laughs> but anyway it's about time to clean it up and call it a night it's knocking on six o'clock I've been out here since eight you know besides the lunch break so I'm gonna um, take that off the jack stands and then uh, roll it back in the garage here in a bit I think dinner is about ready so I need probably eat some dinner first and then uh, what's that oh yeah from the Easter eggs but uh, anyway, this will probably be it for tonight. So uh, tomorrow, I don't know if I'll, I might turn the camera on. I gotta change the stepper motors and the gauges in that truck. I gotta do that tomorrow. Uh, that's the plan, I'm gonna tear the dash apart and do that. Uh, thanks to YouTube, it doesn't look uh, too crazy difficult. It doesn't look like a lot of fun, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So maybe I'll take you guys along with that. But uh, anyway, until next time I see you guys. Everybody be good. I'll get some videos loaded up. I got, I think, three now or four now to load up. I'll get those loaded up tonight, and then uh, we'll go from there. So you guys all be good. Have a good work week for those of you that go back to work tomorrow, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Be good. I'll say bye. Bye. It's
dark in here because I got my lights off, but I can actually fit my motorcycle in, trucks in. It's uh, it's getting heavier. The truck is, which is a good thing. That means that there's parts on it, more and more parts on it. So uh, yeah, but uh, starting to get excited. So time to uh, take a shower, go do a movie night with the wife and kids. So until next time. See you guys later. Be good.